So in order to get started, we will uh, create this uh, simple example here where we just launch SOLIDWORKS. Um, and what we will see here is that it actually uh, generates a new SOLIDWORKS window here uh, and returns a uh, an object that we can use. So if we just press start, it's just going to fire up SOLIDWORKS, return the object handle and uh, and exit. That's, that's basically it. Uh, now, if this is not already running if it's closed and if in the in the um, in the task manager we actually don't have a SOLIDWORKS version running it's going to create it for us so this is going to take a while until it launches and once it has done that it's uh, just returning a new handle now, of course, if we run this again, it is actually running already, so it's still there. Uh, so if we run this again, it's not going to start a new version of SOLIDWORKS. It's just going to fire up the old one. So <clears throat> we can do that as many times as we want, and we will not have uh, new windows all the time. It's just one window. OK, so how do we? How do we get started with this? Well, we're going to start a new project. And we're going to do a console application. So uh, choose a name. So it works app 2. And um, yeah, just put it wherever you want. OK, so in Visual Basic, this is how a console application looks like. Uh, so what we need to do now is actually access, add a reference for the SOLIDWORKS API. So we can do this by right-clicking, add reference, and I now I already have done that. So I'm going to go ahead and remove these from the recents. And I'm going to go here to Browse. I'm going to navigate to my SOLIDWORKS folder which in my case is on D drive, but in your case, probably going to be on C drive. So you go to uh, the uh, SOLIDWORKS, SOLIDWORKS, API, redistribution, and you grab these DLL files. SOLIDWORKS, interop SLD works DLL, as well as the constants and click add like so and click OK here and you will see them in the reference tree that you have added these two. All right, so now we can actually utilize them. Uh, we can write imports solidworks.interop.solidworks. So I'm using the um, Visual Basic or Visual Studio uh, IntelliSense here for auto completion, so I'm um, just t typing a little bit and then pressing tab and um, choosing these with the uh, arrow keys on the keyboard. Interrupt const. Okay, so uh, in this main window, um, we're just going to do some console that right line stuff here. Um, <clears throat> launching SOLIDWORKS. Please stand by. OK, now we need to create a um, SOLIDWORKS object. So we're just going to call it app, short for application, as SILDWORKS. So it's not the whole word, it's just SILDWORKS. Uh, and we can do this in one line, create object. And then we have to type the string, SLDWORKS. 
application. So I have to be careful here to um, because this is a string a solid um, the IntelliSense will not work on this so type it correctly. Okay so it's this is going to create an object and if that object does not exist it's going to launch SolidWorks for us. So uh, it's not gonna do anything uh, when it does this. So for now let's just do console.write line and type uh, done press any key to exit and then we're gonna do console dot uh, read key so this is as soon as we press a key it's going to exit the application so if we run this now it's just gonna run launching SolidWorks please stand by done press any key to exit and uh, nothing nothing is showing up on the screen so in order for something to show up we have to write app dot visible and this is a boolean is equal to true now if we run this it's actually going to display the SolidWorks window for us which is huge in my case so I'm just Make it smaller for you okay so that's done and we have a SolidWorks version here uh, all right so <clears throat> in general when you're launching applications like this this line here is going to create new versions new instances of the program in the case of SolidWorks it's not doing it here um, but in general for others it's going to create new instances so you you will end up with a bunch of instances so if i show you the um the task manager you can see here that we only have one version no matter how many times we run this app we will always have one instance of solidworks in general this is not true so there is another way of writing this that is more robust for other versions and that is to uh, do this in a try block so the first thing we're gonna do is not creating this object but actually trying to get it and of course if it doesn't exist the um, a uh, exception is going to get thrown and we need to handle this exception using a uh, try catch block so what we can do is do um, divide this a little bit up so I'm gonna grab this one and and then right here um, app is equal to get object and path name nothing so you can just put nothing here and over here the string will be what whatever we have written here as well so grab this put it in here and we're just gonna comment this line okay and what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna go to task manager and actually get rid of this SolidWorks instance I'm gonna kill it and process okay so nothing is running all right and I have uh, got rid of this line so now if I run this I will get a system exception cannot create active X component because it doesn't exist okay so in order to handle this uh, we can do try and um, the thing that we are going to try is this and then we're going to do catch exception as uh, well as an exception like so and uh, end try All right, just fix this.
this. Okay, so what's going to happen now is it's going to try to get this object and if it doesn't exist, it's going to throw an exception and we're going to catch this exception by creating this object. So let's uh, debug this. We can put a debugger here and start. Okay, so F10 in order to step through. So here's the try block. It's getting, getting in there. It's trying to get an object, but it's uh, throwing this exception and the exception is stored in this variable here cannot create activex component fine let's create it then so this is where it creates it, it takes a little bit of time for it to launch the solidworks app and soon there we go now it has it, it has grabbed it, and we can verify in the task manager here that we have a SOLIDWORKS instance running. And try, and then it makes it visible, which we can see here. And uh, continue running. F5. And our app has finished, so press any key to exit. So this method is more robust and more general for other applications, but for SOLIDWORKS, the just creating using this line works as well. So now you, you have these two methods and you can see whichever you want. Uh, you, you can utilize whichever you want, but you uh, should understand how, um, how handling this uh, works now. All right.